I sang that song for more than 60 years, a song of praise to Joseph Smith, the prophet of the Restoration and founder of the LDS Church, the church I served as a bishop for five years. I knew the church was true. I was a faithful Latter-day Saint. My life has been built on certain truths, but wishing doesn't change the truth. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. When I finally learned the truth about the real history and doctrines of Mormonism, I realized that I was following the gospel of Joseph Smith and not the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have come to learn that many others have made a similar journey out of the bondage of religion and into an authentic relationship with Jesus. And that's what this show is all about. Courageous people who wanna share their story hoping that you, the viewer, will discover the same new life in Jesus. So if you're a Latter-day Saint who is struggling with questions or seeking a genuine encounter with the Savior, we invite you to join us tonight. We have a joyful message that we want to share with you. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I'm happy that you spent, decided to spend some time with us. I'm still in Boise, and just meeting the most wonderful people, as you may have heard over the last few weeks. I'm just uh, thrilled with their stories, and they're just such a great spirit here. And interestingly, a lot of them haven't known each other, except uh, now they're coming together as, as former Mormons and in a Christian community. and. Uh, just a wonderful spirit here. And so today we're meeting, if you remember, Victoria Bringhurst of a couple of weeks ago, we're meeting her mother, Isabel Dela Cruz. So Isabel, thanks for coming and sharing your story. And you're also a convert to the church, is that true? I am a convert, yes. How were you raised? I was raised uh, Catholic. Oh, were you? Uh, yes. Okay. I in, I Where was this at? In, um, Los Angeles area. In Southern yeah. California. Uh, yes, my parents are Catholic, so I was raised Catholic all my life. Um, what does that mean to, I mean, we have a Mormon audience, I hope, and also former Mormons. Uh, maybe they don't know much about what that means to be raised Catholic. Is that, well, you, you know, there's you certain have, expectations there too, right? Yes, certain expectations, certain, um, just different things that you have to, you know, do as you, you know, when you go to the Catholic Church. Um, do, do they, I mean, I hate to even ask, maybe take our time this way, but I, I'm curious, do you go to, I've heard people go to Mass every day, or is that just on the weekend you go to Mass? It just depends on, you know. Your cho personal choice? You, yes. It's we, not a requirement to no, go every no, day? No, no, of course not, no. You, um, you go as you feel okay. that you have to go, yes. And maybe to follow up, what do you do at Mass? Well, you go to church, but before you go to church, you have to go to get a confession, they call it. and Every time. Yeah, and oh. yeah, as I was in the church for many years, and yeah. growing up in that church, I had a lot of very strange things happen to me. So <laughs> it made me, I didn't attend as much as I, you know, I was yeah. supposed to, but um, I still believed in God and Jesus, and you know that's what kept me going. But oh, uh, and there was a lot of things in the Catholic Church that I also questioned. So yeah, you know, the, just the legalisms maybe of it all. And no, just go, the fact that you had to go to another human and kneel in front of him and confess your sins, oh, and okay. you know, I, I thought we had a direct line with God. And you really did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, yes. Well, I found this out now yeah. as oh, as I'm yeah. older. But yeah. when we were younger, we used to really not feel right comfortable about doing this. And yeah. We would question it. It's why, you know, why do we have to confess <laughs> our, our sins to a man? And then it was when so easy. He'd say, go, say, 20 Hail Marys and 10 uh, Godfathers, and you're forgiven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I, I don't know that much about Catholicism, no. but uh, they certainly... It's, it's interesting. So you, your daughter eventually starts deciding she wants to learn more about Mormonism, I guess, because she had a friend. She had a friend. And you were involved in that because she has to probably have a parent there when she's yes. being taught. Yes, yes. So were you listening then to this Mormon message? No, no. At that time, um, you know, she was a teenage girl. Yeah. And, and to me, in my eyes, she wasn't 
trying to run around in the world. She was trying to be something good and, you know, follow Jesus. And to mm -hmm. me, in my eyes, that was a good thing. Yeah. So I, I was behind so her and I was trying to support her, you yeah. know. So I thought, well, it's better her to go this way right. than to go into the world, and, you know. Yeah. So I did encourage her and I, you know, I was, in, I was involved because I figured she had made a promise to God that she was going to go to church and she was going to follow him. So I was mm -hmm. <laughs> going to make sure that she, you know, yeah. kept her promise. And plus, I felt like it was good for her, but right. then down the line, I, but yet I didn't know anything about Mormonism. Okay. I really didn't. Now, you were listening to the missionaries teach her. Well, later on, no, oh, later no, on. they never taught her in front of me. They, oh, really? I, thought, yeah, no, I they, thought that was a requirement. No. Mm -mm. There wasn't another no, she adult would go, there? No, she would, no, no, she would go with her friend, her little friend oh. across the street with the mother. So that oh, she would go mother, to church. Their and, mother was yeah, there. and she mm, would be taught right. the lessons. Yes. So, oh, I see. so then, you know, she would come home and, and it wasn't too long before she was very intimate about, you know, yeah. getting baptized. Well, so she said that she eventually did get yeah, baptized. Yeah, she did. And you didn't know anything about Mormonism then? No, not really. Yeah. No. I mean I didn't know it was a cult, and I didn't know <laughs> that it was a negative thing, you know. Oh, well. So um, later on, when I got into it, and the only, basically, the only reason I was involved with it, because she kept saying, "Well, Mom, it's not fair. I don't have any family in the church. I'm all by myself." So oh, I yeah. again. So you started investigating a little bit. Yes, and... I started going to you know to okay. the church and then. I did wanted... you take the missionary lessons then? I did. Yes, and I what did. did you, what did you listen to? What did you hear? And well, was it different than what you'd been raised as a Catholic? I guess. And... Well, not very much difference. Yeah. I mean, there really wasn't. You know, it was. You know, you hear this, you have to. You know, they hear the gospel, and you're like, in other words, they were putting it to where. You know, you're listening to the truth. If you don't do anything now, then you're pretty much, you know, <laughs> condemned. And yeah. that's what the Catholics do. Right. Yeah, they're very kind of similar. So I didn't, you know, at that point in my life, God was calling me anyway. But and I thought that that's where I should go. Okay. But but later on, it wasn't where I was supposed to be because, <laughs> you know, when I when they talk that it that church is Joseph Smith's church it's not Jesus Christ church yeah. they, they, he's the main character in their church yeah. and you I sense could, that message from well, the missionaries no. too um Did you? at first no at first it, yeah. it wasn't they no, didn't talk about the no first they mission, didn't or? talk about no they talked about yes they did the talk mission. about Joseph Smith yeah. and I thought he was you know like they talk about Moses or oh. or so I just Assumed he was one of the prophets. <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, when they start comparing, um, you know, they, when we have service, they'll start saying, well, you know, our bishop is like Jesus, and and then I just start questioning, what, no, he's Jesus, you know. Okay. So it, it was just a lot of questions in my mind, and, yeah. you know, everything was about Joseph Smith, and, mm. oh, look, look, Jesus did this, but Joseph Smith did this, and mm. then it was a turmoil in my head, because I kept thinking, Okay, something's wrong here. So did I you ever get into the Book of Mormon? You, you know what? I've ne I read it a couple times, but I yeah. never read the whole thing. Yeah. No. And I did read a couple of things, but yeah. I don't know. I, I was never really, I never really got to go to the temple. I never did it. Something would always come up. Oh. Something would, I, I, and I planned and make a trip, and then I'd have to work, and yeah. Maybe was God was saving me <laughs> for something. Well, it sounds like you had a relationship with Him. Did you always feel grounded in in Jesus and God? And, I oh yes, uh, I you know I've always you know followed Jesus again, and believed in Him and 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 I got a little sidetracked, but <laughs> but I but I you know the truth He reveals the truth to you. Yeah. You know you can read a hundred books, He will tell you that it's it's yeah, in wrong your heart. in yeah. your heart. Yeah. Well, I don't really know again Catholicism that well, but did you did, did you know much about grace in Catholicism <clears> or <throat> eventually in Mormonism? No. Did you ever oh, hear about no. the I never grace heard concept? No. The, the, well, the time I heard the grace concept was when I started going to my Christian church. That's right. when I first, you know, they keep you kind of like the Mormons, I feel like they have you just reading the Book of Mormon right. to sidetrack you from the real Bible. From the Bible. And then the Catholics, they don't even encourage anybody to, to read. read the Bible. It's not like a number one thing. Yeah. Really? 
Yeah, I, I felt it because so I So there never, were some similarities between oh, the two. Yeah, you know? there really, there was, and there is. And yet the, the concept of grace is exactly what Paul's teaching all the time, and that's there in the Bible. Of course. And I'm, I'm sure Catholics would say they believe in the Bible. Is mm -hmm. that true? I know Mormons believe in the yeah. Bible as far as it's translated correctly, but right. do the but do the Catholics hold to the Bible that that it's the Word of God? Um, yes, they do. Okay. They do, but yeah, however, they you know they don't encourage the parishioners to go out and read and find out this information yeah. for themselves. And it was in Latin for so long. Wasn't yeah, it? So and the priests the do a lot of the feeding to the. You yeah. know the Catholics, and so, so they figured they're not encouraged. I would, I can honestly say that all my years, I took my kids to Catholic school, and yeah. they were never encouraged. You know, you should read your Bible, read your Scripture. That's the Word of God. It was never really. And you put didn't hear that in Mormonism either. No, no. You, they Bible. would tell you go, you go read the Book of Mormon, Book of Mormon, and then you see what these, you know. Yeah, I've never heard a prophet challenge the membership to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think that would be interesting if they ever did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, to me, as a child and to me, when they'd say, "Let's go to Bible study," okay, that you're reading the Bible, but they would always just read the Book of Mormon all the time. When you and, went to Bible study, yes, and I was thinking, well, when's the Bible study coming? <laughs> when does that start? You yeah. know, just so, so anyway. And they're very. I guess we'd say cherry pick the scriptures that we use, uh, Mormons use in the Bible because they, and usually taken out of context and not mm -hmm. in the, mm -hmm. they never, almost never go back to the Greek or the Hebrew to kind mm -hmm. of explain what this, these mm -hmm. concepts are. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting that you've had this uh, relationship with Jesus. And so you sensed maybe even when, while you were LDS, that, that things were different there. Um, with Jesus? It, I was, um, when I would go there, I go to church, and I'm sure everybody else, is to get fulfilled with the Holy Spirit sure. and get the, you know, we feed our, our mouths and our stomachs, well, we also have to feed our soul. Yeah. And when you come out hungry and still, you know, worse than when you went in. There Feel was, guilty because you're not? Well, guilty because there was, um, I wasn't getting fed. Yeah. I mean, as far as like what I, why I went to church, if, you know, the fellowship. Mm -hmm. And then the shunting began, you know. From your family? Uh, no, the shunting from the church oh. came to part. And, and I would, you know, I had been to this a church, this one in Oregon that I had just joined to for two years. And if I had two or three people say hello to me, that was a lot of people. <laughs> just not very. And they were shunting me, and I don't know why, yeah. but maybe because I wasn't paying my tithing. <laughs> I don't know, but... Well, hopefully that word didn't get around. But mm -hmm. So eventually you come to... Uh, your daughter's uh, active. She marries a, a return missionary, mm -hmm. and now are you close to them f uh, geographically at this point when they get married? Or um, where are you at? No, the, he, he was in Idaho here, and I okay. was in... Um, in California. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, but both of, you're both Mormons at this point. I mean, you're Mormon and they're mm. Mormon. And it, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And so then, what happens? Um, well, they did lived, you move here eventually? Uh, and no, I moved to Oregon with my daughter in oh. Cal in uh, in Oregon. I'm okay. from California to Oregon. Okay. Now is she Mormon? No, my oh, daughter is Catholic. totally against. Yes. Was she upset that you were Mormon? She was very upset. She would always <laughs> tell me, you know, Mom, what are you doing? It's a cult. And what, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. and, and then I started thinking, well, why is she saying that? You mm -hmm. know, why? So did you study a little bit? I studied, she... I prayed, and I kept saying, you know, God, you tell me what's the truth. I, I'm, you know, I Again, don't. Again, you're trusting God. I'm trusting, of course. <laughs> you have to. That's why we, that's why, you know, I, I have no ill feelings of no Mormons. They are good people. They're they just are. being misled yeah. with the wrong information. They, as someone says, they don't know what they don't know. So that's I know, just the way but they, they are. are good people, and it's yeah. you know it is sad that they're, yeah. they're being misled. So then, what happens to you? You come over here, or what? Well, um, yes, I love the church, and I knew that they were gonna, 
you know, kind of... Did you leave the church in Oregon? or In Oregon, okay. yes, in Oregon. That was the, okay. yeah. When, they, when I went to service and one of the gentlemen said that the bishop was like Jesus and we were his... That, that was enough. Huh? That was enough. I thought, no, okay, this is... My soul just did not like what was happening here. Now, did you tell Victoria and Sam about this? Or? No, this was my personal thing mm -hmm. I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. So finally I said, I'm not going to go back. That's okay. it. I'm done. And now, were they active in the church still then? When you no, left? they already had they been having their own things they were dealing with. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And so then did you decide to go to a Christian church, or what was your transition yes, my, to Christianity? My daughter was um, attending a, a family church, a really nice church. She yeah. said, Mom, just come. Just listen. Okay, so I came and... What did you think of that the first time you went? Um, or the second? <laughs> but the, it's, the you know, it's, it was so strange to me. I, it, it's such a guilt trip because, you know, you're not allowed to drink coffee when you're Mormon. Right. And here in this Christian church, you're drinking yeah. coffee they and listening. It in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so, it's, uh, I kept thinking, oh my goodness, this is, this is too hard. Yeah. But... You know, it's not about, I know what you consume, it's, you know, it's yeah. bad, it's bad for you, I understand sure. that, but, um, but it's your relationship with Jesus. That's, that's the important most important thing. thing, exactly. And you carried that through your whole life, that's just fascinating mm, that you it is. had that strength yeah. to do that. And you know, sometimes I think God puts us in positions where we have to go to trials like that so we can be able to help somebody else. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, and I hope this story that you're sharing now helps somebody even though they may have only been in mormonism a short while mm -hmm. or, or really not i mean you were searching and seeking god that sounds I, like yeah. always mm -hmm. of course. and you were comfortable with the cross yes the, the catholics use the cross crucifix right Was yeah that, i i did you understand it the way they the i Christians really know? didn't yeah. uh, and you know and now um i had to keep <laughs> talking about uh, catholics uh, I grew up in the church, so I've seen a lot of changes. I remember when the priests back in the day would say the service, but they would turn their back on the on the people, First, yeah. and now they face them. But so I mean, it's what was like, the difference before they were looking to the? Well, it was like they were. I don't know. It's so weird, but I remember you they used those to. Changes? Yeah, they've seen those changes, and I don't yeah. understand. Um, as far as the cross. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't understand it. I do understand it now that yeah. he's he's no longer there. He's not <laughs> crucified still. He's he's right. risen, and that's when they have to understand that. Yeah. You know. But it's certainly a, I love the symbolism of the upward cro upward part and the cross part, the loving God and loving our fellow man. And, uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. and and in Mormonism, of course, the the big event was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh -huh. They say, had you heard that? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. and that, that's where all the atonement took place, and uh -huh, uh -huh. they kind of discount the shedding of blood on the cross and uh -huh. all that. Yeah. yeah, they really never really talk about the the true crucifixion. You know why he no, no, he died for us and yeah. our sins, and yeah, they just kind of go. It's all it's Joseph Smith's church. That's why I keep saying <laughs> that. That's the truth. Well, it's all added on, and that was one of the things I kind of brought me out. I know it's 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 kind of a backward thinking in a way, but it, I, I just kept thinking jo Joseph Smith reading the Bible. Uh, knew this God, this Christian God, before he changed his stories over time and changed into what eventually became the Mormon God of being in flesh and bones and so on. I don't think he believed that at the beginning. No. Yeah. No. But now I heard a talk, and there, they, it said that people cannot go to heaven unless they are accepted by Joseph Smith. I mean, this is their Brigham doctrine. Brigham Young has said that, yes. that we have to pass by Joseph Smith. Yeah, well, I thought it was Jesus. I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, that's you know. kind of what we all believe. And yeah. At least the Bible yeah. teaches, and, yeah, and they, that it's about Jesus and his his righteousness, really, and of his, course. his grace for of us. Of course, and he... Yeah. Of course, you're absolutely right. <laughs> that's interesting. Well, what else do you want to share here? You... Uh, um, well, it's just I hope I hope that they, you know, like I I feel so blessed that I was able to open my eyes and I I, I com 
have compassion for my young daughter that she had to go through all these things and now she's dealing with them, going to the temple and doing all these yeah. things. I never, God spared me from that and I'm very grateful. And he woke me up, I don't know why, but he did. He woke me up and said, you need to get out of there. <laughs> so I did and I'm so grateful, you know, that he, it's like you rescued me because I could have still been in there. And, and you see yeah. God's hand in your life. And, yes. But you had trust in him. I did. I did. Yeah. I had to have had because I knew, you know, when you're in the church that long, you know what they're capable of doing. You know, besides the mm -hmm. shunting, they, they also mm -hmm. try to mess with your finances and everything. And you're going to have to be willing to take that risk. Say, Lord, I'm with you. If Let them do whatever did they you, do. Did you ever share any of this with your bishop or uh, any of the leaders in the church? No, you hardly, you hardly ever. I mean, I never really, unless I went to pay my tithing. Otherwise, yeah. I never really had interaction with yeah, him at all. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> no. Oh my. Well, it's it's just fascinating that that you'd make this journey and and have that trust in Christ always. So have you found a home now? Do you feel comfortable with, with well, your decisions? I, oh, yes, yeah. I, I do. I, um, I left there, not because there were anything. It's just I wanted a new start. Um, I just recently, what, four or five days ago, moved <laughs> to, um, you know, here where we're at, oh, okay. Idaho, yes. Okay. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm just holding on to his hand. He's holding on to mine, and wherever he leads yeah. me, that's where I'm going to go. Well, it sounds like you've always had this relationship, but was there a born-again moment that you'd call that, or has it been more of a I, I think progressional so. thing? It's been a progressional thing, yeah. but, but it's just the knowledge that I've inquired. You know, I just feel so blessed because I, I feel like I know so much uh, you know, uh, reading the scriptures, of course, that helps you. The Bible. The Bible, of course. Yeah. The, the Bible, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's, um, it just gives you this knowledge and this wisdom. If you know that what you're doing is right. You just know. You know, nobody mm -hmm. has to tell you or you just know in your heart. Well, yeah. I've been impressed with the, uh, what I didn't know about the Bible, all those scriptures that I used to read as a a Latter-day Saint and usually taken out of context and uh -huh. and now they mean so much more to me and uh -huh. all those discussions of Paul and the letters that he wrote and the gospel he shared and uh -huh. and he warns warns Mormons uh, really or more anyone that comes up with another gospel to not follow it uh, uh -huh. if it's different than what Paul's teaching uh -huh. but we really as Latter-day Saints never really know what it is that Paul's teaching uh -huh. you don't really get into that part of it uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They they limit you and what you can, you know. Oh, you should read this and this, but they, you know, they never tell you about that and you know other yeah, script, scriptures that would open probably open a lot of, yeah. you know, people's eyes. But yeah. So you attending a Christian church now here? And well, no, I've only been, here, been here for <laughs> yes, but but I was and I was going to get baptized in the church I was. Um, going to family church is a wonderful church, you yeah. know, great pastor. I've learned a lot from and him. And you think you'll be baptized again? I, I'm going, that's the first thing I want to do. Yeah. Yes. I, so what does that mean exactly to you now? Well, it's just declaring. You're not being baptized into a church, are you? No, I'm being baptized to, you know, Jesus is not a church, you know, it's, right. you have to, you carry, Jesus lives inside you, know. you know, it's not inside a building, it's in right. you. And me being baptized is just a confirmation that I'm a follower, her, a yeah. follower of Him, you know. And, oh, so and it's so interesting that you get baptized at age eight, you know, because uh -huh. you're not you're not baptized as as a follower of Jesus at that point. You're baptized into a church. I was, when being a Catholic, I was baptized as soon as I was born. So and, then, baptism, so, and then the Mormon church, and I must be the cleanest lady there. <laughs> you baptized a Mormon, now you're going to be baptized as a Christian. Huh? Yeah, well, a you Catholic, Catholic, right. Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the first time you've really 
done it because you've given your life to Christ. Of course, it's and my choice. a public choice. display, not, be, not because it's going to save you. No, no. But you're saying to, to God and the world that I've, I'm accepting you as mm -hmm. my Lord and mm -hmm. Savior. Yes. Isn't that a wonderful right. feeling? It and is. There's such a freedom in that. It is. That we mm -hmm. don't experience, mm -hmm. probably in Catholicism, as, as mm -hmm. you've explained, and mm -hmm. certainly not as Mormons. No. I feel and like we have to do all the work. Yeah. yeah. And it's never, you know, it's it's a never-ending challenge, you know. Uh, well, the, you can't live up. No, you right. can't. They, they set up so much high expectations that if you fail, because you're bound to fail. And because you will. They, yes, and you yeah. will. And then you... You feel so bad about yourself because you can't reach this podium that they've set for you, yeah. you know, and that's not good. Jesus loves us. He forgives us. You know, we, what you said, grace. Yeah. You know, he, it's, it's for grace that we're saved. I always you know? thought it was funny as Mormons, we never would say we're sinners, but that we're, we're just not perfect, you know. We, have, we, don't, we know we're not perfect, but we never really admit that you're a sinner. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a, a pride that goes along with that because mm -hmm. you're put, trying to put on a facade, mm -hmm. trying mm -hmm. to put on a clean, scrubbed face that mm -hmm. when deep down inside you might be a terrible mm -hmm. person or something, and mm -hmm. God knows how you are. Exactly. But you're trying mm -hmm. to trying mm -hmm. to be something that you're not in front That's of man. Right. That's right. And and like I said, that goes along with the, the you know, high uh, uh, podium that they, you know, they set yeah. up and people the can never, the expectations, mm -hmm. you know, and if you can't reach it, then you fail and then, you know, it's... it's well, I bet your daughter in Oregon's thrilled, is she? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's happy. and. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's um, I'm at a point in my life where you know you kind of coerced to do things. When I was a Catholic, I I was baptized whether I wanted to be or well, not. Okay. And then when I was a Mormon, I did kind of choose, but it was under like uh, false pretenses, I think, or, or not really knowing the truth of what I was choosing to do. Yeah. Now I wanted to be my choice. Right. You know. And that I'm doing it not because somebody told me, not because I have to, it's because I believe in Jesus and I want to give my life to Him. That's yeah. my choice. I'm proud of you. Thank it's you. A, it's a big step and I know it's challenging sometimes, especially. Yeah. But you found home. You, know, you found peace. And, yes. You know. Well, you've got just a half minute or so. Anything okay. you want to share to your family or friends? And um, Well, I'm just excited to get baptized. It's so important, especially... You know how times are yeah. are tough now, and yeah. it's either you're with me or you're against me. There's no more. Yeah. There's no more room for, for yeah. you know. But well, I hope everybody. I hope you're able to find a good home church that yeah. you go to, and that's another freedom that we have, isn't mm -hmm. it? Be able to go where you want to, mm -hmm. and, and find something that that fits your personality and mm -hmm. your style. Yes. Well, yeah. Isabel, thanks so much. You're, you're such welcome. a sweet lady. Oh, and thank you. Good luck in your. Uh, the rest of your life. Thank you. So thanks for joining us. Thank we'll you. see you next time.